Hello, do you know how to perform an autopsy on your system? Well, next, we'll show you how to properly disassemble an M14X R1 or an M14X R2 and see what's inside these alien beasts. Before starting, remember to check out the safety precautions and ESD protection video listed below or simply click on this video now. Basic disassembly. This is the bottom base door. To get access to the rest of the components, it is the first part you need to remove. To do so, just locate and loosen the two screws securing it to the system and then slide the top left and top right edges toward the rear of the system to unlock the latches. Then remove the bottom base door from the system. Keep in mind that if by any chance you need to have this part replaced, you may want to remove the nameplate as well. Just unscrew these four screws, remove the nameplate from the old bottom base door, and install it on the new one. Now let's remove the battery. Disconnect the battery cable from the system and loosen these two captive screws securing the battery to the system and remove it. As easy as that. Underneath the battery is where you can find the wireless card and the wireless HD card. To remove the wireless card, disconnect the black and white antenna cables and loosen the screws. The wireless card is going to move to a 45 degree angle for easy removal. To remove the wireless HD card, the process is very similar. Disconnect the cable, remove the screw, lift up the wireless HD card to a 45 degree angle, and disconnect it from the wireless HD board. If you ordered your computer with MSATA SSD, it also means you won't find a wireless HD cable in the system since they use the same card slot. The optical drive goes next. Locate the flex, carefully and slowly lift up the plastic bracket, securing it to the system and disconnect the flex. Now loosen the four captive screws and remove the optical drive from the system. If you are replacing the optical drive for a new one, please be aware that you need to remove the optical disk drive bracket from the old or defective drive to install it in the new one. To do so, remove the flex from the optical drive by taking out these two screws. Now remove these two screws and these other two. Then take the bracket out so it can be used with the new optical drive. The hard drive is underneath the optical drive. To take it out, loosen these three captive screws and use the tab to pull the hard drive bracket upward slightly. You will gain access to the hard drive cable to disconnect it from the hard drive. Same as before with the optical drive. If you need to replace or install a new hard drive, remove the four screws securing the cage to the drive and then just remove it to be installed in the new one. To complete the basic disassembly section, we will remove the memory. To do so, loosen the two screws securing the memory cover and take it away. Then gently push the securing clips away from the memory module and remove it from the system. If you have more than one memory module, repeat the process for the second one. Advanced disassembly. Keep in mind that the following steps are authorized to be performed only by a certified service technician. To remove the keyboard, First remove these three screws marked with the letter K. Then flip the computer over 
and pry up the keyboard trim from the bottom edge working your way along the sides and the top to completely remove it. Now remove these three screws and then lift the top edge of the keyboard carefully so you can disconnect the keyboard flex and the keyboard light flex from the computer. Once the keyboard is out, we can remove the palm rest. Just turn the computer upside down and remove these seven screws, marked with the letter P. Then flip the computer over and remove these other two screws, marked with the letter P. Disconnect each of these four cables. After that, you can remove the palm rest from the system. Here we have the hard drive cable. To remove it, we need to pull the connector end through this hole in the plastic frame of the lower assembly. Then pull the hard drive cable from the motherboard end and you're done with this part. Now it's time for the subwoofer. Disconnect the subwoofer cable from the system and then remove it just like this. If you need to replace the CMOS battery, peel it off from the plastic frame and then disconnect the cable. To remove the DMC card, remove these three screws and then take it out. To remove the computer's motherboard, disconnect and unroute the LCD cable. Remove the five screws marked with a small white triangle. Now gently lift the system board and remove it from the system. You will notice the motherboard comes with a thermal module that can be removed. To do so, turn the motherboard upside down. Disconnect the fan cable and remove these nine screws following the numbering next to each. Then you can take the thermal module out of the system board. The CPU and GPU are now exposed. The GPU is welded to the motherboard, but you can take out the CPU. To do so, just turn the processor socket screw to 180 degrees to the open position and then carefully remove it from the motherboard. To complete the entire system disassembly, we're only missing the LCD assembly. Turn the system chassis upside down and remove the antenna cables from the routing channel. After that, remove these two screws marked with the letter D. Now flip the computer over, take out the cables and remove these four screws. Finally, Detach the LCD assembly from the system chassis. 